We're here today on Rollins Road uh, to talk about pavement preservation. We have a large system of roads. Uh, we have 900 lane miles and we need to maintain and preserve our pavements to stretch our limited tax dollars by effectively prioritizing our scheduled repairs. It's not efficient to build or reconstruct all of our roads and then ignore them for decades until the next high cost, high impact reconstruction. Instead, we use many tools in our toolbox to preserve pavements with treatments selected at the optimum time. We have two methods of pothole filling and active responses for pavement repair. Cold mix and a hot mix method. The cold mix method, uh, we simply shovel the material out of the back of the truck, spread out onto the pavement, and it's compacted, either with a compactor, hand tamper, or sometimes just simply wheel roll with the machine. The hot mix method, it's a little more intense. We can hot mix the bigger potholes with the hot mix directly or we cold plane it and we remove about an inch, inch and a half of material. After that, the, materials, the area is primed, the material put into place, and then compacted. Low cost crack sealing prevents moisture from getting into the pavement, which can lead to deterioration. Typically, at around three years into a pavement's life, we crack seal the pavement at the working joints and pavement seams. After each winter, our maintenance department selects locations to be surface patched. Here, two inches of the pavement surface are ground off and replaced with new asphalt with patches ranging from about four to 100 or more feet in length. These isolated locations of surface patching can address areas with high level of cracking that drivers notice or perhaps bumps or dips that present issues for our snow plowing operations. Occasionally, we may need to perform full depth patching, where isolated areas of pavement are removed to address pavement deterioration that is caused in the lower layers of the pavement or in the base. After fixing any underlying problems, these full depth patches are replaced with new asphalt or concrete. Lake County DOT is uh, implementing a new preventive maintenance program where we apply a new pavement rejuvenator spray to asphalt roadways with recently completed surfaces, extending the life of the pavement by about five years. So we've done two test sections here in Lake County, one in 2014 here on Winchester Road, and one in 2018 on Washington Street. When asphalt is placed, it is laid down at a very high temperature, and some of the material that binds the pavement together is lost. The pavement rejuvenator applies maltines or glue back into the pavement, allowing for a tighter surface. This leads to less rocks chipping off, less cracking, less damage from freeze-thaw cycles and sitting water, and it slows the oxidation process. Microsurfacing is a relatively new method of treating an existing road. It's mainly designed to extend the life of the asphalt pavement. What goes on is you have a large machine, which they call the continuous run machine which basically means as long as they've got a steady supply of trucks feeding at the aggregate, it can just keep going all day without stopping. Basically, the truck feeds a crushed limestone sand, basically, into the large machine. And there, it's fed by hopper into a bin where it's mixed with small amount of cement. And then that's mixed with asphalt emulsion. But what you're left with is a thick slurry of sand and asphalt. At five or six minutes, it's dry enough to walk on without leaving a mark. Uh, roadway resurfacing is basically a multi-step process that involves grinding the old surface away and then overlaying that surface with new asphalt. Uh, the thickness of that overlay is usually between an inch and a half to about four inches thick. And typically, a newly resurfaced roadway will last about 15 years on average depending on uh, how much traffic is on the road and also uh, weather conditions that will affect the lifespan of the road as well. Well, we look to a variety of different things when we apply different pavement management techniques to a road. We first start with testing the pavement. We test its surface condition. We also test the structural integrity of the pavement, how strong it is, and we'll use those two criteria to determine what the right pavement repair strategy and what the right time to do that repair strategy is. It may be right now, it may be five to three to five years out in the future. We use this phrase, do the right repair at the right time on the right road. 
and we use our pavement management software to determine that. We don't want to spend all of our money on a complete reconstruct of a road, which is very expensive. It's more cost effective so we can get more out of our money and keep the roads lasting good for a longer period of time.